the post-American world is a world in which the United States can't assume that, what, that it will get whatever it wants. It can't assume that others will follow its lead. And I think that as you've seen in the wake of the financial crisis and in the wake of the American elections, uh, the Obama administration basically can't make its own policies without uh, anybody uh, dissenting, either at home or abroad. The Fed can't make its own choices about monetary policy without having other uh, uh, central banks and other political actors outside the United States chime in. Uh, and these things are somewhat new, and it'll be hard for the United States and Washington to get used to a world in which it has to lead by persuasion and example and competence rather than mere assertion of dominance. You're right that the Republican Party uh, and many Americans, frankly, will be opposed to this very concept. But the thing about reality is it's there whether you like it or not. And the post-American world is not a question of American exceptionalism. It's not a question of how good we are or moral we are. It's not a question of whether we deserve to be prominent or not prominent. It's a question of the basic fact that power is now somewhat more widely distributed, particularly economic power, than it used to be and that we no longer basically can uh, get whatever we want. And so the American public is gonna to have to adjust to this and grow up essentially. Mm -hmm.